So you have leaders who get the work done, you have those who don't get the work done, then you have those who they not just do the work, but there is still no report. And who is the Minister of Petroleum in Nigeria? Is that our work done or no reports? No reports. No report. Because if the work were done, there would have been reports. We don't even hear anything in that sector anymore. But it's not only that, it's not that place. So the leaders, competence, efficiency, effectiveness is the ability to get the job. Sometimes it is not you that will do the job, but your ability to know those who can do what? Do the job. That's what the apostles did. That's what's expected of a leader. Effectiveness, efficiency. Effectiveness or competence is not the most important quality of a leader. In fact, every leader must be competent or effective or efficient. But not every competent, effective or efficient person should be a leader. Not every competent person. Competence is about capacity skill. Not every competent person should be a leader, but every leader should be competent. Cain was competent in killing Abel. That's competence. That's getting the job. As far as killing somebody successfully, Abel did not struggle to die. Abel did not. Cain did the work clinically. He finished the job. Abel did not even struggle to die. Abel did not. He didn't even allowed Abel to suspect that something was going to happen. So he was very, very well competent. Who killed the Legiwa? He's a competent, efficient, and effective person. Who arranged for the kidnap of the cheaper years? He's not a competent, efficient, effective, skillful person. Yes, it has to take someone who is very competent. Some people are ruthlessly competent. So, every leader must be competent, but not every competent person must be what? A leader. But every leader should be competent, but not every competent person should be a leader. You know? And so that's why we must, when somebody presents himself as efficient, competent, we must ask the question efficient in what? Competent in what? We must interrogate those things. We must interrogate we are competent in what? We are efficient in what? Yes, we are going to bring change. Change from what to what? But if we don't have those questions, if we don't have clauses to all those slogans, we will be legally do it. And that's what has been happening in Nigeria. All it takes to bring change is competence. All it takes to bring change is efficiency. Any efficient person can cause change. Any competent person can bring change. But the question is change from what to what. That's the questions we should ask. That's why we must interrogate. We must not be listening and carried away by the anecdotes and the slogans of politicians. We must interrogate them. Change from what to what? Change from 200 naira to a dollar to 1,000 naira. No. Change from a rice uh, consumption or importing country to a rice exporting and sufficient country. Yes. Change from uh, Boko Haram to bandits and unknown government. No. Change from River Seven Niger Bridge always on the drawing board to now becoming a reality. Yes. Same thing with transformation. All it takes to bring transformation is an effective leader. But you have to ask transformation from what? I want you to know that science and technology can make you technology can transform a man to a woman. Have you been hearing of transgender? Huh? Yes. Transgender. That like a man can decide that I'm tired of being a man, I want to be a woman. And he goes into, um, into the theater. To watch full videos and get notifications for new ones, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. God bless you.